Hi folks, we got a pie crawler for Raspberry Pi by Sunfounder. It's a four-legged robot that uses a Raspberry Pi and that you can program in Python. We made a series of shorts on assembling this kit, starting with showing what was in the box. All the servos in. It's got 12, hasn't it, Paul? 12 servos, yeah. Looks like the camera and the fixing hardware. Cables, servo arms, miscellaneous bits and pieces. Ultrasonic and a hat to go on the Raspberry Pi. So, the next part of this video are all the shorts that I made and put together shown how Paul carried out the assembly up to this point. And as he's gone through it, I've looked at the instructions and tried to understand what is happening as someone who has no experience of anything like this. And it all went very smoothly up to the point where this ribbon had to be connected in, which for somebody like myself with no experience, has a certain level of difficulty to it, would you say, Paul? Yes. So towards the end of the video, we'll talk about that. But here's the assembly up to this point. So we're working on the first diagram in the assembly. The ribbon is underneath the batteries. So Paul's threaded the ribbon through. We need the M3 times four nylon screws okay. so those are marked nice and clearly so we've got to line up that hole there with this hole here and then pop two of these nylon screws in i was putting the screw in the battery box first so we've got the battery box screwed on now so next we've got the batteries so the tape has to be put underneath the battery like that so that it helps to pull the battery out when you want to remove the battery. So we've completed that first part of the assembly. So next we've got this diagram, we've got the ultrasonic module and then this flat plate. So there's our ultrasonic module. There's the aluminium component. And put this in and connector going to the top because I got it wrong the first time. So we need M1.4 screws and these six of those, but we, we only use four of them here. We need the M1.4 nuts. These tiny nuts weren't marked up. No. The packet was, was not marked. But you think these are the right ones, don't you, Paul? We'll soon find out, yeah. Putting the last one in. Job done. So we're back to the battery component. We've got to get these standoffs. M2.5 times 18. M2.5 times 6 screw. So these are the standoffs and these are the screws, so a little bit bigger this time. Screws are going through there. And the standoff goes onto it like that. So the screws go underneath and then the standoffs on the top. The supply of this little multi-ended spanner to help you tighten things up, but uh, you should really be careful with this because uh, they're only nylon, the standoff, so you don't want to over-tighten them. Okay, so that's the standoffs. So that's that diagram completed. So now we're on to this diagram. So we need the M3 by 24 standoffs. We need five of these, so these are considerably bigger than the last standoffs. And we need the M3 by six screws, which are these. So those are a bit bigger as well. So 
So there's the five standoffs on the ultrasonic plate. So now we have to put these two chassis halves together. So they join together by putting screws in the other end of the standoffs. So that's that diagram completed now. So next we've got to put the four pin wire, connect that to the ultrasonic module. So it's keyed, so it'll only go one way. So this is the key, these two ridges. Yeah, it'll only go one way, located right. in those slots. So that's in. Mm. So now we're on to this diagram, which is fitting this Raspberry Pi camera. Paul's already attached the cable to the camera. So it shows you in this diagram pushing the cable up into the camera module. It says check whether the camera component is firm. Stick it if necessary. So do you think it needs sticking, Paul? Yes, it did. There was a piece of double-sided tape applied to the back of the camera and the other side needed re removing to stick it to the circuit board. And it says note the direction of the blue plastic side. So there's the blue plastic there. So that goes to the back of the camera. So now we're going to uh, attach that Raspberry Pi camera module to our project using M2 times 4 screws. So that's these really small screws here. So it's mounted with the ribbon at the bottom. So that's the camera module attached. So now we're on to this diagram, which is attaching the Raspberry Pi. So here's our Raspberry Pi. We've got a Model 4B. So it's going on the standoffs that we already put in previously. So it's gone on those. And then we need these M2.5 by 11 standoffs. They're gonna go on top of those. So these are the M2.5 times 11 standoffs. So we're on this diagram now. It says the blue plastic side faces to the right, talking about the FFC cable. So this is the camera socket on the Raspberry Pi board. So the other end of this cable, which is connected to the camera, the other end of it needs to go into this... Um, oh, the other end of it, the right. The other end of the cable, yeah. And it's actually labelled camera it there. It is, yeah. Also, this cable has to be rooted underneath the board. All right. If you look at the picture coming underneath the board oh, right. looping round. I should have taken note of that first because now I'm going to have to thread it through. Right okay so that's that should have been pushed underneath before we you put the standoffs on it the should have, yeah, yeah. Okay that's going to end up. You pull that up yeah that little black thing's pulled up partially. Right. Now this cable, the blue tab, uh -huh. goes to that side, the right hand side, so that the metal teeth um, engage on the contacts. There. there, it's gone in, yeah? Okay. And then once it's gone in, you push this black connector back down. Right. Like that, and uh -huh. that, that locks it in place. Right. Yeah. So that's the camera installed now. So next we're working on this diagram, which is putting on the robot hat. So these pins have to go through the plugs here. These pins have to go in these connectors. Yeah, and we press that down, but it looks like it, it sort of like 
Well, maybe there's, maybe there's enough space. So let's just do it. So I'm pressing it down now, the pie hat onto the Raspberry Pi. And it's on. So up to this point in the assembly, it was all going swimmingly, but this is where we've encountered an issue and we're going to talk about that. It's, it's just worthwhile saying something a little bit about these cables. These yeah, it's called F, what is it, F? CC or FFC, F they're called uh, FFCs for so, sure. Flexible flat cables, flexible flat cable. Yeah, right. they have a lot of advantages over uh, normal cable runs, mainly that they save space. But they can be, if you've not encountered them before, they can be very fiddly. You really, it's really worthwhile studying what the Sun founders say and taking your time over putting these cables in. They've got to go right in the right way around, and they do say put the blue tab. On the right hand side also there's a little piece of black plastic which has got to be partially pulled out of the connector before you slip the cable in making sure that it's slipped all the way down mm -hmm. and then this little piece of black plastic has to be pushed down again on both sides to lock the cable in position but you, need, you, you said um, you need it's quite, quite a, delicate as yeah well. you need quite a bit of force to do it so you sort of using your thumb and forefingers as pincers to push this black piece of plastic down to lock the cable in and you've got to be careful when you're doing that, that you don't damage anything on these printed circuit boards. The Raspberry Pi in particular, which has got some very de delicate components there. Now on the Raspberry Pi end, when you push the flexible flat cable into its connector and then push the black tab down to lock it in place, you then put the Pi hat on top of the yes. Raspberry Pi. Now, there's not much space. There's not much space. When you actually push down on the pie hat, because of the, the blue strip is actually, is what they call a stiffener that helps you to insert the flexible flat cable. The blue stiffener is pushing on the underside of the raspberry pie, pie yes. hat mm. when it's screwed down. So I think some founder has had a bit of a design problem, a bit of a design issue. Got a slot here. Uh, with this flexible flat coat. Uh, they did put a, a, a slot, uh, as you can see there, in the pie hat. And I think this might have been to relieve some of the pressure that the blue yes. stiffener puts on the underside of the pie hat. So in the next video, we'll be carrying on assembling this, starting with the cover for the pie hat. So that's the cover that's going to go on. But that's it for this video, folks. Hope you'll join us in part two.